If you have already seen my first video on basic exercises to help improve your focus with ADHD, you already know what I'm about. I'm all about practical advice and I'm not one of those people who would just tell you to get better sleep and cut your caffeine. No, absolutely not. I will give you exercises and practices that you can do daily that will minimize your need for caffeine and automatically better your sleep quality as opposed to making you feel guilty about it, about the way that you live your life and about the way you sleep or eat so i bet that you're super excited about this new video coming out i worked so hard for it in the first video we talked about how to watch movies how to even brush our teeth we learned how to visualize and build skills that helps us visualize better and our children we learned some useful breathing exercises that we could do before working and studying and then we also learned about the benefits of fasting and certain types of exercises that are proven to help us focus better in this video though we will follow a similar template but we will make it a little bit more spicy I promise you remember you don't have to be amazing at everything we talked about in the first video to give these exercises that you're gonna learn today in this video a try you could definitely try them if you try them and you find them a little challenging you can go back to the first video and try those for a little bit longer and then come back to this video and attempt them again by the way, if you're new here, my name is Seppi and I'm passionate about health, nutrition, weight loss, and living with ADHD. As someone who has personally lost over 50 pounds and understands the challenges of living with ADHD, I'm so excited to share my experiences, knowledge, and tips with you guys to help you on your own health journey. My videos are all about providing practical, evidence-based information and strategies that you could implement into your daily life life to improve your health, optimize your nutrition, manage your weight, and thrive with ADHD. This first exercise is designed for you to become more present and pay more attention to your senses and stop feeling guilty about being on your phone 24 seven. We're constantly stimulated, especially visually through our phones. And this is even more true with our kids and the younger generation, right? Most of the parents that I talked to back in Helix Academy, where I used to tutor, always complained about how distracted their kids are with their phone. And can you blame them? If it's hard for us to stay off the screen, it for sure is a lot harder for them. They literally grew up in front of screens. So here's an exercise we can do to help us without feeling guilty about staying on our screens for too long. Like we talked about in the previous video, we want to create the right ambiance before starting the exercise. So a calm environment, dim lighting, no music, you can light a candle or an incense and set the mood right. And here's the exercise. You would be going to the sink in the bathroom. You would let the water run through the faucet so it has a steady flow. And then you wanna start gazing at these droplets as they fall. I like to pay attention to how they collide with each other or the sink as they fall down. You wanna become very present and pay attention to the rhythm of the water drops and try to keep your focus on the water drops. You're going to focus your visual attention on one point beyond your peripersonal space. So it could be on your computer, it could be on the wall, it could be a horizon, it could be at a, at a distance. And you're gonna focus your visual attention there. And with some effort, you're gonna hold your visual attention for 30 to 60 seconds. You might blink, that's okay, but you're going to try and hold your visual attention there. So no moving your head around, um, no diverting your attention to other locations. Some people will find it very easy to do, other people will find it quite hard. So for people who have ADHD and focus issues and attentional issues, this can be effective. For people who don't, this can also be effective. Again, it places your brain and body into a state of readiness, and then the idea is to move into the particular actions that bring you closer to your goal. I know Dr. Huberman in this video talks about staring at a point on a wall as an exercise to improve our focus, but to be honest, I tried it and I consider that a pretty advanced exercise. If you're staring at a stationary object, it's very hard to focus. So I'm thinking he either has amazing focus or he's never tried this exercise before. So give this exercise a try and the more you build this skill, the better you will get at it, I promise. You'll be very surprised on how fast you you can actually improve in this if you stay consistent. 
If you get distracted when you're doing the exercise, remember it's totally normal. We all do get distracted, so don't get frustrated. Let's say, for example, you get carried away with a thought. Just blink a few times and get back to it again. Or you can create a safe word and repeat it. What do I mean by safe word? For example, every time you get distracted, you say pish posh and redirect your focus on what you were doing. Sometimes you might get a little frustrated and we don't want to do the exercise in the beginning. Try to get into the habit of exercise. Even if it's only for two minutes a day, that's fine. That's what your focus is. But once you get used to it, push through that frustration and try to do it for a longer period of time up to maybe 10 minutes once you're able to build this exercise up to 10 minutes then you can maybe start looking at a picture or an object that is not moving i promise that this exercise will sharpen your mind and you will become a lot more present this next exercise can help us learn how to process auditory information which has shown to help improve our focus and cognitive skills as well which is amazing and that's exactly what we need as people who have ADHD. I have seen three specific research that I wanted to share the results with here with you. One in 2006 in Journal of Brain Research, another one in the same year in the Journal of Psychological Science, and one in 2018 in the Journal of Mindfulness. All of these researchers, they follow the gold standards of research and they all demonstrated that exercises that I'm going to share with you here that is going to help with active listening, which is going to help with our focus. I never know if you guys want me to go deeper in this research with you guys in the videos. I like reading them and I like to, you know, extract information from them. But if you guys want to know specific things about these researchers, let me know in the comments and I'll make the videos about researchers specifically. First, let's talk about the adult exercises and then I will talk about the version that we can teach our kids. This first exercise is actually really fun. You just need a friend or someone that you're talking to. So you want to practice with someone that you enjoy talking to. So pick them and pick their brains. Pick someone that who likes talking and you enjoy listening to them and engage in the conversation with them. Set your goal that you're going to be engaging and you're going to be focused on what they're saying. You're not going to be thinking of scenarios that you're going to say back. You're you're not going to think about relating to them. All you have to do is to focus on what they're saying and observe all the information that they're giving you. Just in case as they're speaking, you get distracted, you can ask them to repeat themselves. Just say, I'm practicing this or sorry, I have ADHD and I really want to hear this story. Can you kind of rewind a little bit or tell me what happened here? This way they won't get too annoyed. And not only you can actually practice your listening skills, but you also become a much better friend. And I promise you they'll enjoy speaking with you a lot more than before everyone loves people who listens to them with no judgment or weird comments right do you guys agree let me know in the comments so for your children you can read them a story or have them listen to a story and ask them to repeat the key points of the story back to you or you could actually come up with questions if you have time to come up with questions for them and see if they can give you the answers if they didn't you could read or play the entire thing for them again and have them listen to the entire thing and have them answer the questions back. This is a very easy and fun exercise. Some of us might already be doing it with our kids or with ourselves. It would be great if you could make it a routine so they learn how to focus and they develop that skill. This next exercise, if you're not used to it, it's pretty advanced, but if you are, you could skip through. I get really sad when I see people and comments and they say, I can't read. I hate reading. I read and I fall asleep. This is not the attitude that we want. I always thought like that as well before I started reading. Deep inside, we know that reading is very important and it's a very good skill to build and it's a skill that we need to take seriously. So this is your sign to start practicing and start reading. There are multiple research done that proves that reading helps with stress reduction, sometimes up to 68%. Reading is compared with actually listening to music and going on long walks. But I was very interested in one research that I want to share with you in the Journal of Brain Connectivity. In 2013, they used functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI to look into the effects of reading on brain's connectivity and attention. I wasn't surprised because I saw that just reading a simple novel increased the brain's default mode network or DMN. We talked about DMN in the first video if you guys want to go back to it. 
but therefore it increases our focus and mental clarity it's truly a meditative experience and if we suck at reading we need to improve our skills so we want to start from a short book my personal favorites are self-help books nutrition or adhd related books if you are interested in my books i've listed my favorite books in my free guide that is in the description below for you guys you can download it for free you can pick whatever you like from that list i would love to see you reading those books and letting me know how you find them but i really recommend picking a short story or something that you really love to read initially it might actually be really hard to follow a couple of lines you might get distracted and you might be actually reading the words but they're not really making sense to you or you forget what you're reading it could be very hard to focus in the beginning i've been there so do your best to pick something that you're really interested in even if you have to pick a celebrity magazine to start that's fine no one's here to judge i'm all for it pick something that you're really into then you're gonna apply something called a Pomodoro technique but a little shorter you're gonna turn on your timer on your phone you're gonna do two minutes and then 30 seconds off this should help you build some confidence so with two minutes you want to be reading for two minutes only especially when you're starting out it's easier and then you don't want to read for 30 seconds you take your eyes off and then you go back to the two minutes reading again you could do this for you know a couple of times and then next day you could start reading for longer so extend the two minutes to three minutes to four minutes until you're comfortable until you are actually keeping your focus on what you're reading you might notice that thoughts might come and even if you are reading the words as i mentioned you're thinking about something else completely and you're not present and you're not sure what you're reading so you have to go back if this happens you use the safe word again you say pish posh for example and get back to you know where you forgot like you go back to where you remember and you start reading from that point just again trust the process know that getting distracted is a part of this you're building a skill it's not gonna be easy nobody's born with this sometimes you go to a better school you have a better teacher they take the time to kind of teach you this but if you haven't been this lucky like myself then you have to put in the time to develop this skill or help your kids develop it at this time the sooner the better if you see this as a process you will see that you will get better with time again consistency is key here but you'll find that it's very motivating because let's say if you practice for at least 21 days and don't read again for a few weeks when you go back to reading again you realize that you've built that skill and you can progress so much quicker compared to where you started so your efforts will never go to waste with these types of skills it's kind of like riding the bicycle it will stay there so enjoy the journey and start reading today order that little short novel for yourself right now on amazon and start reading hopefully you can get to 25 minutes in a few months and you could just develop your skills from there on and on what do you guys think are you guys down give me a thumbs up if you are so this one is a physical exercise but if you combine it with breath work and meditation you can multiply its effects beyond belief i'm telling you this from experience personal experience and hearing it from so many people that i've taken hatha yoga classes with and i'm not talking about the regular hatha yoga classes that you can find in a yoga boutique in la or in toronto i'm talking about something else i'll explain to you exactly what i mean by that this is going to help you with your focus at work at school and with your family and it's truly truly life-changing and i share some of this on my second page if you're interested in learning more make sure you follow it i will link it in the description so you can click on it and check out my other instagram account anyway hatha yoga practices that i'm talking about they're physical asanas that you can learn they're the most basic ones that they're guided you can find them on youtube and take a yoga class and it's perfect you can learn the physical exercise it's a very very great start but truly what it makes the difference is memorizing these asanas back to back combining them with breath work and mindfulness and that's when the magic happens there are not many classes that offers these types of hatha yoga classes in North America there are so many of them in India there is a foundation that I love called Isha Foundation they're pretty big they have classes in Los Angeles Toronto Tennessee everywhere 
there are classes that you could attend you literally only attended once they teach you all the asanas and they will teach you how to perfect it physically as time goes by and you get better at them they will correct you they will make sure that you learn them perfectly once you are done with the class you go home and you'll take the practice home with you you'll do it at a dedicated space in your room with your eyes closed once you do this you realize that yoga is not just all about the physical movements it's all about the fluid movements which engages your body and your mind and it puts you in the state of flow automatically imagine doing these exercises for 30 minutes or to an hour every single day while you're trying to remember all the moves and breath counts and once you're done you realize you haven't had any mind chatter for the past hour and as a bonus you've also exercised as well you know physically which is amazing you might have seen my morning routine video if you haven't checked it out make sure you check it out after this video i do surya kriya every morning or yoga asanas every single morning and the transformative power that these practices have had on my attention my mental clarity and just to become more present every single day it's just mind-blowing and i really 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 hope that you guys give these practices a try and tell me about it and hopefully you know take these classes and come back to me and tell me how they've helped you and how they've changed your life and i really hope that i could be that person for you guys i really hope you guys love this video i really put a lot of thought and effort to make sure that these tips are practical and you guys can apply it to your everyday life if you guys did enjoy it share it with someone you love make sure you give me a thumbs up comment if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button every single morning when i check my subscribers that makes me so happy and motivated and makes me want to make more videos for you guys and spread the kindness and love that i feel from my heart to yours and i really appreciate every single one of you guys coming back to my channel watching sending me emails writing comments liking subscribing i love you guys so much i'm so appreciative to every single one of you i hope to meet you guys one day and thank you for all of your support see you guys in the next video Bye bye